Hello everyone, in this video we are going to take a look at this book. It's called A Book of Curves. It was written by E.H. Lockwood and it was published by the Cambridge University Press. Um, yeah, let's look at the back here. Uh, it talks about fallacies in mathematics in the back. Okay, and let's just uh, print it in Great Britain. Wow. Let's open it up. And let's read um, the inside of the dust jacket, see what it says about the text, see how it gives us a general overview so you know what to expect. This book opens up a new field of mathematics at elementary level, one in which the element of aesthetic pleasure, both in the shapes of the curves and their mathematical relationships, is dominant. It has nothing to do with any examination. This book describes methods of drawing plane curves, beginning with the conic sections, parabola, ellipse, and hyperbola, and going on to cycloidal, cycloidal curves, spirals, glissets, pedal curves, strophoids, and so on. In general, envelope methods are used. There are a photograph frontispiece, 25 full-page plates, and over 90 smaller diagrams in the text. Wow, wow, wow. Part one deals with 14 particular curves. For each of these, several methods of drawing the curve are given. The geometry of the curves is treated by elementary Euclidean methods. All right, let's just take a look uh, further in this book. Let's look at some of these graphs. I, I, I can't take it anymore. We just got to look. Let's check it out. A book of curves. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. By E.H. Lockwood, Senior Mathematics Master, Felsted School, formerly Scholar of St. John's College, Cambridge, 1971, Cambridge at the University Press, 1961, old school stuff here. Wow, it smells, oh, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. There's the copyright, 1961 again, so you can see it. Special curves, really old book. So here's some special curves. Let me zoom in here so you can see some of these curves. And then part two is ways of finding new curves. Cool, all right? I mean, it's a book of curves. That's, that's what it's called, right? <laughs> a book of curves. And then some further reading. So let's just glance through it so you can see what it contains. And here's the preface. Let's just read a little bit of this. See what it says. It says, plane curves offer a rich and to some extent unexplored field of study, which may be approached from a quite elementary level. Anyone who can draw a circle with a given center and a given radius can draw a cardioid or a limacon. All right. Let's turn the page, see what else we have. Some historical stuff. Let's skip that. Some notation. So there's some notation here we should know. Okay, and let's uh, get to the curves, right? It's a book of curves. Special curves, finally. Here we go. All right, the parabola. I used to have a teacher, my uh, college algebra teacher used to call it parabola, parabola. That was a hard class for me. Geometrical properties. Cool. That's the parabola. And then, let's see what the next one is. The ellipse. Wow, to draw an ellipse. Wow. Interesting, right? It gives you a technique for drawing an ellipse. Let's go further. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. The asteroid. That's the asteroid. So it'll show you how to draw an asteroid. Sisoids. The lemniscate of Bernoulli. Wow. Wow. It almost looks like a face with, with eyes, right? Like looking at you. It's pretty wicked. The scent emanating from this book is just incredible. It's just incredible. The equi, equiangular spiral. The problem of the four dogs that it says there. Wow. A courtyard, ABCD, is a square of side 200 feet. Four dogs are started simultaneously from the four corners. The one at A faces facing towards B, the one at B towards C, and so on. Each dog pursues the next at a uniform speed of 20 feet per second. If A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime are simultaneous positions of the dogs that started at A, B, C, D res respectively, it is evident from symmetry that these will be 
a square, and the direction of motion of each dog will be alongside of the square. That is at 45 degrees to the line joining it to the center O of the courtyard. This will be true in any position, and the fact characterizes the curve along which a dog moves. Such a curve in which the tangent at any point makes a constant angle with the radius drawn to that point from a fixed point is called an equiangular spiral. Wow, wow, the problem of the four dogs. Crazy, really intense stuff. And then here it goes on more, talks about it. I mean, this is just math that you don't see, you know, in most other books. So it's kind of cool. As the dog at B prime is moving at right angles to A prime, B prime, the distance is diminishing. Interesting. Cool. Pretty neat stuff, right, in this book. Uh, I'm pretty sure this book is available. Um, I, I don't know, but I will look for it, and I will try to leave uh, a link in the description. I don't know if it's been reprinted or not. It probably has. Um, wow, the scent. It's scent. Let's, look up. Let's go over here and look at these. The Tractrix and Catenary. That's what that looks like there. That's cool. And there's that lemniscated Bernoulli. And we saw that one already. Let's look at a different one. Oh, let's look at the deltoid. That's the deltoid. That's cool. The deltoid. It's the, it says, envelope of Simon's line with Morley's triangle. The nephroid. Interesting. And then here's the limacon or limacon. And then we have the hyperbola, wow. Wow, the way it's drawn. <laughs> so it's really like, makes it look more hardcore. Uh, that's a hyperbola. <laughs> yeah, you don't mess with that one. The ellipse. <laughs> oh, there's, yeah. Cool. Interesting book, right? Interesting book. A book of curves. Let's see if anything here in the back. Index of subjects. That's cool. Index of names. And a glossary. Some further reading. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, pretty interesting. I will try to leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. Also, if you're not a subscriber, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. And also, if you want to learn math, I have courses. Uh, they're on Udemy, but if you get them, please use the links from the description of any video or my website, mathsorcerer.com. I've got courses on calculus, algebra, differential equations, all that stuff. Really cool book, though. It's a key takeaway. Um, it's very different, you know? It's just a different type of book. Now you know exactly what it's like. Hopefully, um, this helps you take care.